All right, guys. Sea Serpent's channel. This is the last in my series of my Kenyan Samboa collection. I started two weeks ago shooting the videos of all my other Kenyans. And this is the biggest uh, adult female here that I have. She's a normal. And I bought her as is back in March, uh, March 15th. Uh, today is Thursday, August 3rd, 23. So August 15th, I'll have had her five months. Now I got her at a different exotic pets uh, store uh, close to me, not my two normal reptile shops that I deal with. And um, when I bought her, uh, they estimated her to be three to five years of age. Um, a guy brought her in a few months before I got her. So Age-wise, I'm not definite, but, you know, she could be older for all I know. But she looks good. She actually just shed uh, two and a half weeks ago. Uh, that was her first shed with me since I've owned her. Um, she ate for the first two months uh, rat pups um, every week, uh, one rat pup every week for the first two months. And then right around June... She went ahead and stopped feeding for about two months. So she just came back on uh, two weeks ago, at the end of July. Uh, she ate a rat pup. And then just this past um, Sunday, uh, she uh, ate another one. So she's back to feeding. Let me put her down for a second. So she's back to feeding now. So far, I'll show her underside. And you can see the vent in her tail. Uh, males will never get this big. So this is a confirmed female Kenyan Samba. And she's got pretty, uh, Good markings, coloration in my opinion. It's kind of a light orange, almost a peach, uh, down her back and into her tail. And uh, kind of a chocolate uh, brown. And along her sides too, you see how that kind of bleeds in on her sides. Uh, chocolate brown background and then just nice pure white underside oh, spooker I'm trying to get a little closer just their eyes are hard to see sometimes but she's been a pretty chill snake ever since I got her I mean you know she's been super and she's she's uh, she's a good two foot uh, maybe a tick over two feet long and uh, these big females can get up to three feet, like maximum uh, length. I'd say she's at least two and a half inches wide, roughly. And you can see that heavily keeled tail that they get. So like I said, this is my sixth. Uh, I've got six Kenyan Sambos, so this is my big girl. And um, just wanted to show her, like I say, show her off. Uh, I do plan on breeding her, um, introducing one or two of the other males uh, to her and see if anything happens there. But we'll go ahead and put her back. I want to show uh, my little stripe normal male because he actually shed uh, last week uh, as well. And when I did that video of him, 
he was um, pretty dull looking at that time. Uh, so because he hadn't shed his skin yet. So we'll let her go back in her cave. Um, but he didn't shed his skin yet, so I want a quick touch on him. Now I did upgrade the bins, like I said in one of the other videos. So I did upgrade the bins here so that these guys have a little more room now. Okay, and he's right over here in the corner. So I just want to show him quick, just because since he shed, his colors really pop. Whoop, come here, little guy. His colors really pop now. See how shiny and, and how more bright, uh, brightly colored he is. That orange stripe all down the, the back. Let me try to zoom in slightly. All right, yeah. But you see all the speckling along the sides of him. The camera's not quite doing it justice, but all the speckling really pops as well. Same thing, keeled tails. So like I said, I did upgrade them to some bigger bins. I'm gonna get another rack and then they'll have their own bins like these, but for now, um, Scarlet's in there somewhere. Uh, Sarlacc on top with uh, Ash is in her bin. So same thing, just uh, gave them a little more room than what those round ones. Uh. And of course, keep in mind, I've had these guys for about seven months now. Both of these, this one and then Ash, my Annery. And they were a lot smaller when I got them. Uh, I got him back November and December. So, um, you know, so these guys have grown quite a bit since then. So I'm, you know, obviously giving them more room. All right, well, we'll go ahead and put this guy back as well and go ahead and end this video. So, all right, guys. So for now, that's the uh, conclusion of my Kenyan Samboas. Um, you know, my hog nose is up here, and my uh, apricot Pueblin milk snake uh, sockhead is in this twenty-gallon long. I'll do a video on him separately. He's grown quite a bit since I got him a year and a half ago. Um, and he was only a month or two old when I got him then in uh, February uh, at that time. Um, so if you uh, look back, I've got another channel uh, that I got locked out of uh, back in November, but uh, Black Serpent's channel. Um, I've got videos of him as a baby, plus uh, a bunch of other snakes that I, I have owned in the past and, and whatnot. But this will be my collection of snakes for now. And like I said, I plan on, um, you know, getting another rack and uh, making space for these guys. And, um, you know, I do plan on trying to get a female hog nose at some point as well. So, um, but yeah, he's in there somewhere, Curtis. He's hiding out somewhere. So... And he did eat, actually, he didn't eat the week before when I did the videos of him, but then this past Sunday, he went ahead and ate a fuzzy crawler as well, so. All right, guys, for now, see ya.